Parliament says National Assembly Speaker Nosivu Mapisa Ngakula remains on special leave as investigations into corruption allegations against her continue. The Speaker has also launched an urgent legal bid seeking to interdict her arrest and challenging how the raid at her Johannesburg home was carried out. Well, joining us is Guy Martin, editor at Defence Web. Guy, appreciate your time. Thanks so much for, for speaking to us. Now, I think close on a few weeks ago, actually, you, you wrote an article around uh, just give us, bring us up to speed uh, with how much you know about these allegations that she's facing. Uh, good afternoon and uh, thanks for having me. Um, so at the moment, all we're seeing are allegations. Uh, we don't have much uh, or any real proof that uh, Mapisa and Kakula was um, indeed guilty of soliciting bribes. So the story goes that uh, between November 2017, um, she solicited to about 2.3 million rands worth of bribes, um, possibly up to 5 million rand, but the figures vary, uh, from uh, Numbasa and Lobu, who at the time was um, the head of Mkombe Marine. Now, Mkombe Marine uh, was involved in logistics and uh, for several years, the, the Mkombe Marine uh, transported um, equipment for the SANDF to places uh, like Sudan. Now, the story goes that uh, there was difficulties with some of the tenders that um, Mbasa, Mbasa and Lovu approached Mapita and Klakula and asked for assistance with with um, Smoothing, uh, smoothing out the problems, and that's when um, the the bribery uh, was was uh, allegedly carried out. Um, so Ndlovu was arrested in uh, October 2020 and uh, released on bail. Uh, she was charged with fraud. And now this case was supposed to um, go to court at the beginning of this year, but uh, it was recently struck off the roll, and now the focus is is on Kula. Whether um, Nambasa and Lovu is, is guilty or not, uh, whether the former defence minister is guilty or not, um, we don't really know for sure. Um, Mapisa and Kalkula has maintained innocence, uh, whereas Nambasa and Lovu has essentially thrown her under the bus and is deflecting um, her own um, corruption and, and fraud allegations. So what the, the true story is, uh, I think, is yet to be determined. Well, there are a couple of issues, I suppose, to, to contend with, Guy, and, and one of those issues is that the National Pre Prosecuting Authority has been sitting on this docket, if you will, for, for the last three years. And at this juncture, they have now said to Mapisang Nakula that present yourself to the nearest police station or we'll come and arrest you. Yes. So after, after extensive um, uh, with the, the National Prosecuting Authority, um, Mombasa and Lovu um, seems to have gotten off the hook. So one would assume that she must have quite solid evidence uh, for for her uh, charges to, to be dropped and her case to be struck off and for Mapisa and Flakula to be investigated. Now, this is not the first time um, that uh, Mapisa and Flakula has been implicated in, in fraud redemption. Um, there have been several other um, incidences um, during her tenure as uh, defence minister. In 2019, uh, she was accused of um, wasting millions of rands worth of taxpayer money on um, hotel and travel accommodation. Um, and she's had other scandals around her as well. Um, in, I think it was 2014, she was accused of illegally bringing a woman into South Africa from, and this woman was apparently her son's girlfriend. Um, so she she hasn't had the the best track record. Um, she was also um, sanctioned by the ANC for giving a so-called lift to party members to Zimbabwe in, in 2020, and she was made to, to pay for that trip um, as punishment. Um, so there have been a number of scandals swirling around her. Um, so one might say where the smoke is fire, um, but what the prosecutors, investigators will unearth um, remains to be seen because they're keeping quite a tight lid on on what they 
are uh, we are not sure exactly what their their charges are. Well, God raises the question of as to whether the ANC will be able to blow out the, the smoke or, or put out uh, this particular fire this close to to the national uh, national elections. Just just how much does it taint the the ANC and as does it do any? Does it do it any damage? Uh, do, you, do you think? Well, these, um, there's been allegations against Mapisa Kalkula for going back um, many years. Um, it's interesting that now they seem to be um, taking quite seriously these these charges. And one has to wonder: Is this electioneering? Um, would uh, if there was an election coming up, would she be in the crosshairs? Um, it's hard to say uh, what, how this will end up and if it will make any difference to the, um, the perception of the ANC and their success in the elections. Because uh, Mapisa Kalkule is one of the first, uh, one of the few people within the ANC to, to be uh, quite actively targeted for, for corruption. So it is a bit of an un, unusual move. So, so the conversations obviously are around uh, electioneering, as you, as you as you suggest, where the the opposition, such as the the DA, have categorically stated that Nasibu uh, Mapisa and Rakula must must go. Um, are we likely to to see? Do you think a, a rallying of the troops? Uh, do you do you think uh, political other political parties are pushing? So you have lost you there. Hi, guy. Can you can you hear me? Okay, we seem to have uh, lost Guy Martin, his editor at uh, Defence Web. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much for speaking to us. Uh, Guy, I understand you are back. Confirm you can hear me? Uh, yes, yeah. Sorry for, for that. Um, yes, I'm back with you. So, so the question is, there are obviously a number of political parties, uh, DA in particular, that, that are pushing for Mapisa Ngakula to, to go. Are we likely to see a, a rallying of other political parties pushing for, for a similar agenda? Yes, the, the opposition has been um, quite united um, in, against Mapisa um, and Kalkula. Um, the EFF, um, the DA, um, obviously bound to um, Holomisa, there's, there's quite a lot of opposition um, against her. Um, so I think there's, there's very few people that want her to stay. And I think her, her um, luster is fading within the ANC as well. Um, she has, as I mentioned, she was sanctioned for that um, 2020 trip uh, to Zimbabwe, and she was also um, removed from the defence portfolio after the July 2021 riots. There was a lot of dissatisfaction within the ANC at her performance. So I don't think she enjoys um, all that much protection or popularity within the ANC at the moment, and uh, certainly not as she has no supporters amongst the opposition. Guy, I think that's where we'll leave that conversation. Appreciate your time. Thanks so much for speaking to us this afternoon. Guy Martin, editor at Defence Web. Unpacking that issue around the National Assembly Speaker, Nosivua Mapisa Makula.